Okay, now we've come to talk about restoring the data that the user might have deleted intentionally or unintentionally from his Google Drive or from his Gmail mailbox. And before we go into that detail, I just want to point out that if you are a G Suite basic customer, then this is your only way of doing it. If you are a G Suite business or education, then you might be having another way or approach to do that using Google Vault. We'll talk about Google Vault in section 8 or part 8 of this course, so I'll leave that until then. But for our case, let's talk about the restoring of the data from the G Suite Basic perspective. And basically, even if you are on business and education, you will use the same process because it's much easier and straightforward. So let's assume that we had a user. He came to you and he told you that I have deleted a lot of emails yesterday by mistake and my management wants some information from these emails and I need your help. So what you can do is you can go to the user profile inside or from the actions menu, which is in the user's view, you can click it and then there is an option to restore the data. So you will click restore data and you'll be presented with a dialogue with two fields or two groups of options. The first one is the date range. The second one is the application. The application is basically, you can consider it as the data type. So for drive, you're looking for files for Gmail, you are looking for emails. So let's put it like emails. And then for the date range, this range is for the date of the email or the file deletion, not the receiving or creation date. So for example, if you have an email that you receive in 2015 or 16, but you delete yesterday, then you will select the date from date. You will set it, for example, yesterday. And this is from like 12 a.m. in the morning. And the two, you can also put it to yesterday and it will be like 11, 59 minutes, 59 seconds at the night. So it means that it will cover anything that has been deleted on 21st of June and it will recover it for you. You can do this or for example, if you wanted to restore everything in the retention period, the default retention period, which I'm going to mention soon, then you can just, for example, select the, the range or a wider range for that search or for that restore activity and then you click restore. So this is very simple and straightforward process. There are a few points that you need to be aware about before you go ahead and do it. The first one of these points is the retention period for this is 25 days. If you have anything that is beyond the 25 days on G Suite Basic, then I'm sorry, that's gone. If you have anything that passed the 25 days period, and if you are, for example, on G Suite Business, then as I mentioned earlier, you have the option to use Google Vault. Basically, you have two ways. You can either see the data on Google Vault, or you can export the data and download it to your computer or put it back on the Google Drive if it was an email or import it to Outlook or Gmail if it was an email data that you are recovering or looking for. But from this interface, from this approach, you have only 25 days. You cannot go beyond those 25 days. And if you are on basic, then that's your only way and your only option to restore this data. So if I click restore now, the data will start appear in the Gmail mailbox after a while. Now, I want to mention before I close up that the data might take some time to show up in the Gmail or on the drive if the data was large. In one case, actually one customer complained about lost data and it took about a few days, actually a few days for the data to appear in his mailbox. And basically he was using G Suite Basic and he got to the storage limit of his mailbox. It was 30 GB and he used all of this 30 GB in his Gmail mailbox. So he went ahead and deleted everything thinking that I'm not sure what exactly was going on in his head, but he wanted to free some space and he ended up deleting all of his Gmail mailbox. And after that, he complained, oh my God, I need my emails back. So we initiated the data restore and it took a few days for the data to appear fully in his mailbox. And he actually confirmed at the end that all of the data did appear and show up in his Gmail mailbox again and everything was fine for him. And if the data that you're restoring is Gmail, such as emails and all of that, you will get the same structure again that you have deleted. For example, if you have deleted labels and emails inside those labels, you will get the same structure restored for you again. So you don't have to worry about it if you have deleted some labels and so on. So that was it now for the deleting and undeleting and 
transferring the Drive and Google Plus data and even the calendar. And finally, we just saw how to restore the data that the user has deleted from his Gmail or Google Drive. Next, we're going to take a quick look on the password stuff that are related to the user. So we're going to see how we can reset the user password, how we can force the user to change his password at the next sign in or the next login. And finally, we will see the strength of the user password. And I will show you also another approach to monitor all of the password strength and length for the users in your organization. So until then, I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.